What is up guys, let's get straight into it. As you can see, I have decided to leak start with a bow character. Hopefully this video will help with the people who are skeptical of leak starting as a bow character and understand a little bit how to progress throughout the acts. And in the background is the footage of me killing Kitaba. Overall, it is pretty smooth throughout the acts and very surprised of how well it went. Um, I want to give a shout My out to the gone. follow YouTuber Yen Kutch for his amazing POV and guide. Uh, I will have a link to his POV in the description and in the comments below. The build started with Galvanic Arrow until we can switch to Rain of Arrows and we use Ballistas throughout the axe for single target damage. The Mir Mirage Archers combined with Rain of Arrow provided good clear and we also have excellent mobility with two charges of Blink Arrow. The items used in this footage were all picked up from the ground, genetic rares with life and resist, except for the helmet which I found uh, during leveling, it's the onslaught helmet. Both the ring of arrows and the artillery ballista are on a four link. I thought this build was going to uh, be squishy, but actually it was not. I made through the axe one to seven, deathless. I have recorded footage of me leveling through the axe, but unfortunately after, after reviewing the recording, the footage was really laggy and had around 5 FPS. I did have a short recording of me just before killing Kitava, uh, which I did the command of death and time played, and I will show you right after me killing Kitava. So here is the footage of me just before killing Kitava. As you can see, uh, it is very laggy for some reason and hopefully I will find out the reason why and fix it before I record the videos regarding making currency. Uh, as you can see, I have died only 15 times and I went through the axe in 7 hours and 23 minutes. It is pretty decent for me. Uh, I don't... I'm not able to speedrun the axe like the other people. I would consider this results actually pretty good um, for my personal opinion. I only died 15 times and the co first couple of deaths are because I was testing Crucible and the first real death was at Solaris. So here's the character that I have currently. This is the bow I picked up during a leveling and I tried Crucible on it and it turned out pretty good. This is the Onslaught Helmet, a Tabula, and Prism Weave. It cost me two Chaos, and this boots I picked up, and the Quivers and the rest are rares that I picked up from the ground. I will show you a brief overview of how it looks during the early mapping stages. I made two tier five so far, but I only have a tier two right now. Here's a random map, Excavation, let's do it. And I have also changed to Tornado Shot, as you can see. The switch to Tornado Shot from Ring of Arrows was pretty smooth. I basically switched whenever I acquired the Tabula Rasa. My mana is gone. And, uh, when, and the, as you can see, the damage it is pretty good. We dropped the Artillery Ballistas for the single target. Here is there's Essence. And uh, this Artillery Ballista is on a 4 link currently and is not optimized, but we can get it better. Overall, the clear is very good. It is tornado shot after all. And surprisingly, surprisingly I, don't, I do not die a lot because I have around 75% evasion. And uh, here you go. My gems are not also not leveled up because I just switched to tornado shot. Overall, we also are very fast with the second win, supporting the blink arrow. So we have two charges of blink arrow. As you can see, we go through the map pretty quickly. As for some cheap uniques you can buy to help you uh, 
uh, more damage or get the resist up. The Prism Weave belt is a really good one. Other than that, you can use the Taming Rings. It is it is a little bit expensive currently, but it will get a lot cheaper later on. Also, for the amulet, you can use Karui Ward. That gives projectile speed, projectile damage, accuracy, and dexterity and strength. Or you can use the Carnage Heart, which also gives a large amount of attributes and elemental resistances. Here we go, here's the last boss. We kill it pretty fast, as you can see. And here we go. This is the map cleared. And uh, we are pretty fast if you're using Blink Arrow and have the passive of the reduced cooldown. And with second wind, we have two charges and we can just constantly use it. And you can check out my link yet. in the description for the POV. Hopefully this video will help people who are struggling with leak starting as a bow character. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and comment if you have, if you have any questions. And I will make a currency guide as soon as possible.